one of the things that you notice when I'm talking, when I'm uh, teaching this, I tell people that when they get to the fourth jhana, now you've become an advanced meditator. Why have you become an advanced meditator? Your your mind is manageable, wieldy. Your mind is is when you're in the fourth jhana, your mind is not perturbed at all. When you lose your mindfulness, then you have the hindrances to work with. But the hindrances, by this time, you understand what you're doing. So the levels of of jhana are levels of understanding. Once you get to the fourth jhana, you hear some of the suttas that I'm giving you, and you'll understand the whole the whole thing. It's really amazing. If I tried to give this to you when you were in the lower lower jhanas then the understanding just wouldn't be there. You, your experience has to be deeper for you to get real, true understanding. And of course, what I'm teaching you is samatha vipassana. I'm teaching you serenity and insight yoked together. If you have a bullet cart, and one of the bulls is kind of lazy, then you wind up going in a circle. You won't go straight. Or if the other one is lazy, then you go in a circle going the other way. They need to be pulling equally to go straight through to Nibbana. This is something that the people that practice straight vipassana really don't understand very well. You need to have a mind that's very serene, very collected in order to attain Nibbana. 